East Coast Oak Beer Reviews. Today, we're reviewing a beer by The Brewing Project. This is their Smoopy. It's an Imperial Sour with raspberry, blueberry, guava, and banana. It's 6.94, 6.94% alcohol by volume. Uh, there's no canned on date. Uh, I've been saving this can to do a review. Uh, really cool looking can art though, I will say. Uh, it's got the Bruin Project on the side, tells you what it is. And it's got this blender, and he's got uh, all the fruits in his hands. See that? Yeah, really cool looking uh, can art. Kind of cartoony, kind of funny looking. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's actually give this a little bit of a roll. So this is a heavily fruited sour. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a roll. Then we're gonna give it a little bit of a turn as well. All right, now we got my beer that I drink. Most of my heavily fruits out of, pretty much all of them. And uh, we're gonna crack this open. Let's go for the pour. Check out the appearance. All right. Pour nice and uh, milkshakey. Definitely nice and thick. Oh, spilled a little bit on myself. Didn't mean to do that. Got this nice cascading head. Um, it's kind of like a pinkish, whitish pinkish head starting to form. Definitely a uh, very uh, milky, frothy looking head. It's kind of got this puree lacing. I can see some of the, uh, what's in this, blueberries? Yeah, some of the blueberry seeds in there. It is a. I'd say it's like a, uh, I guess you could call it like blurple. It's like a blue slash purple color with a, uh, like a creamy, frothy, pinkish head. Uh, yeah, looks really good. Um, definitely very thick, uh, murky, no clarity through it at all. Like I said, you see a lot of, uh, sediment and you see a lot of, um, raspberry seeds in there. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty dang good to me. Nose? Oh, that smells really good. The banana is actually pretty prominent. I'm getting a good amount of berry, banana. A little bit of that guava. It's more of the, um, I'd say it's more on the raspberry than blueberry. And then definitely more banana than the guava. So it's like big raspberry banana aromas or just like a berry banana. It doesn't smell too sweet, but it has a nice sweetness to it. A little bit of an acidity, so a little bit of a tart aroma. Yeah, overall, it smells like a pretty dang good uh, smoothie, or smoothie as they call it. Six point nine point six point nine point six point nine four percent alcohol by volume. Definitely not noticeable on the nose. They do have the Independent Craft Brewers Association logo on the side as well. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's give this one a taste. Cheers. Oh, it's got that that thick, creamy, fruited, sour mouthfeel. Full body. The blueberry and the and the raspberry kind of blend together and give this like berry medley blend. I guess you could call it. 
and they add to that a little bit of that tart acidic aftertaste there's a little bit of an astringency it's a little dry um but yeah like i said it's kind of like a berry medley like flavor they kind of combine together the guava's in between i noticed the guava in between on the palate and then you got this like creamy banana um i guess like banana cream but there's no like vanilla in it but it's kind of reminiscent of like banana cream it's uh this is pretty dang good 6.9 point <laughs> 6.9 point it's just, it's just a, I want to keep saying that 6.94 it's just such a weird ABV uh, 6.94 percent ABV definitely not noticeable on the palate as well it actually has a good amount of carbonation there's a little bit of not a little bit there's a good amount of like spritzy carbonation I'd say it's about medium um, some fruited sours are kind of lacking in the carbonation this one I, I would say has some good carbonation to it. It's not overly filling and it's not overly sweet. Um, I would say it's one of your more balanced heavily fruited sours. Um, it's not like cloying or anything. I could keep sipping this. It actually has a little bit of that um, it has a little like uh, crisp aspect to it with the acidity. Kind of like drinking like a nice cold glass of lemonade. It's along the same lines where you get that that little bit of that tart aftertaste and it adds to the drinkability of the beer. Um, yeah, this is wicked good. I really do like this. Uh, score on this beer. I think they hit it out of the park. Like I said, it's like a berry medley. A little bit of guava. And then like a banana cream, not overly sour, not overly sweet. I'll give this beer a, I'll give it a 95. I, re, I mean, there's really not much. Um, there's, there's nothing offensive about this and there's really not much to complain about this beer. I guess the only thing that I would like a little bit more out of it is a little bit more of a, a banana flavor. I wish the banana was a little bit more prominent. Um, but the, I think the raspberry and the blueberry are definitely the more dominant fruits in this uh, heavily fruit sour. But it's it's still a really good beer. I definitely would recommend it. Um, so if you see this, the Smoopy, go uh, grab it. Uh, grab a four pack. I mean, if you're a heavily fruited sour fan, if you go crazy for these things, I think you would really like this. Um, that is if you like the fruits that are in them, of course. Um, so yeah, totally going to recommend it. 95 out of 100. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.